With this and coming videos, I will be introducing you to a very beginner's approach to tutorial on the microcontroller, specifically the Atmel ATmega32 microcontroller, and show you through example how to program and provide functions for this microcontroller and what the uses and applications are. For microcontrollers in general, they're all over the place. You'll find them in microwaves, automobiles, televisions. Pretty much any appliance that you have in your home uses microcontrollers to control and sense the surrounding electronics to provide either display, uh, sensing the environment like temperature or uh, tilt from say an accelerometer, sensing light, sensing angular velocity from gyros, sensing sound and various other things, and also controlling things through power such as LEDs, displays, small displays. To give you a basic understanding of the actual microcontroller, this microcontroller is, is almost like a computer in itself. It is able to run through a set of instructions that you give it in the form of a program. The program can be in C++ or or assembler. I'll be using C++ and I'll be going through the examples in great detail. And all the pins here are used as either input, output pins. You power it through either battery power or some other type of 5 volt power. To give you a rundown of all of the pins, this is the left hand side of the chip. There's a notch on the top, and this corresponds to the notch that's up here. Uh, and there's a little triangle on the top left, which is the number one pin. And this is the left-hand side of the microcontroller. And it has pin assignments from PB0 to PB7, which are eight pins. That can be used for input or output. Output in the form of giving it a voltage or giving it no voltage, a zero voltage or a 5 volts and they have other assignments I'll be going through later on and then you have PD0 through 7 or actually 6 and then 7 is on this side and this is another bank of 8 pins that can be used for input output PC0 through 7 you have AVCC ground and A ref which I'll go through a little bit later which corresponds to the analog digital conversion and you have PA through P7. And this also is corresponding to analog digital conversion. These pins are very special um, in that they can convert an analog signal to digital signal. Say you're sensing temperature and a temperature sensor can sense between negative, let's say 10 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. It'll give you that temperature in a number from zero to 255 if it's a low, re low resolution, eight bits. Um, or, um, or a higher resolution if it's 10 bits. And you'll be able to sense a temperature from an outside source and you'll be able to program the microcontroller to respond to that temperature sensing with a set of instructions. Say output an LED or something like that. There's also other features to these microcontrollers other than the programming you, you can do. There's programming space that is available so you have enough space to put your program in. There's also a space that can be used for data operations, so you can access that space to store variables. And there's also a clock built into these. You can actually count in seconds or in microseconds, milliseconds, and provide outputs accordingly. This might sound a little bit complex in the beginning, but as I go through the projects and the examples, you will be able to understand them as I give detail to these projects. Um, it would be difficult to give you all of the information about a microcontroller in one introduction, but through the examples I hope that you will be able to learn a great deal about the microcontroller and how it works. For this microcontroller to do something, a program has to be copied into the programming space of the microcontroller. So you might be wondering, how do you get a program into a microcontroller? Well, you have to do it from your PC, your computer, and you can do it in various platforms, i.e. the Mac, Linux, or Windows. I'll be showing it to you in the Windows form. 
which is called WinAVR uh, for the AVR microcontrollers. And that provides the, an, a development platform that enables you to program in C++, which is a relatively easy language to, to use and learn. I will go through line by line and show you exactly how, how it works and what is, what is happening. Uh, programming with microcontrollers is a little bit different from my programming with computers these days. These are sort of event driven. It can be step by step driven, but in a lot of um, scenarios that you'll want to respond to an event that occurs to this microcontroller, say every 10 seconds you'll want it to, to alert you and you can actually make something happen every 10 seconds in this microcontroller.